Hey guys, so the other day you saw that I printed out the two uh, Pikachus. I printed those out and they're not really good. The thing is I had to use that loose filament. And I noticed there's a lot of people have been complaining about, you know, they get these spools like this where it's just loose uh, sample filament. And there's really no way you can really spool them up and make them stay on the spool right. So I've had this idea and I'm going to try making it work. I'm going to print it out right now and see if it works. And uh, what I did is I made this canister in Tinkercad that uh, you just, you know, you can take your filament, you can spool it by hand, you know, where it sounds smaller, place it inside it, and then feed it through the hole. And hopefully it retains everything in there and, you know, close it up and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and print it out my idea and see if it works. So I will see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, so I already took it off the build plate. I took the support out from under here. I got to clean that up a little bit better. The same way under here, and when the, I've got a, the hole sized up so it'll fit on my shaft of my uh, spool holder just fine, just as a way of holding it. And I have this little window here so I can see the filament on the inside, and I have the hole for the filament to come out. And then this is the lid that just printed. I took the support material out from under underneath that piece there and I'll show you how how I envision this thing working <laughs> see if it if it actually pans out that way so I've got this roll of PLA right here from rigid ink I'm gonna go ahead so right now it's a little bit too large to fit inside there at the moment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it I'm going to just kind of re-roll it Okay, so what I did is I took it and I kind of re-rolled it by hand to make it a little bit tire, a tighter coil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it in the side here, putting it through the hole first. Really should have done this as an overhead view, but I'm just going to set it down inside there. I'm going to hold this and then when you let go it wants to uncoil. And that way it's got that cage to kind of hold it. And then also these here, if it's a really, like this one was fairly tight spool to begin with, but I have one that's a really loose spool. So this would have helped kind of hold it in place. Then, take the lid and it turns and it's supposed to, it, when I have it fixed up, it's supposed to tighten it back up against it. And it does, it seems like it's pretty, pretty rigid. And now, I'm going to place the shaft through the center of it, if it's sitting on my spool holder. See how that's dragging across the axle? That's what keeps it from tangling up. <laughs> At least that's the idea. So by rights, whenever I put it on my... And there's not, I don't feel any drag against, not enough where it feels like it would come off of this, the spool holder. Okay guys, let's take a better look at what's going on inside here. So I have it where you unscrew the lid, it pulls off. Inside you have your filament. In my case what I did is, because the, the roll of uh, filament was a little bit too big, I just took and re-spooled re it, you know, just kind of made a smaller uh, roll of it, put it in there, put one in through the hole, which is right there on the on the side of the can. There's also a window so you can see what's going on on the inside, 
it also kind of give you an idea of how much film you got left. And then with my spool holder, I've got it set up so that that piece fits the axle fits through the middle of it. So as it's being dragged across that axle, it just kind of unspools the filament. Well guys, here it is in action. It seems like it's working really good. It's uh, feeding the filament. I haven't seen the spool roll over or anything bad that way. And it looks like it's feeding correctly. And no problems at all yet. So I think this is going to be going to work out for what I need it for. Anyway, if you like the model, I did put it up on Thingiverse. I'll put a link to it in the video description. And uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. You guys have a good one. Hey guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. And if you'd like to help out the channel, please check out my Patreon page. You can find the link to that right over here. And if you'd like to take and watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I hope you love them. Yeah, I think you'll like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.